the storm going to strengthen here as it heads towards the coast? So it is forecast to become a category two. Right now, winds are at 90 miles an hour, and we did just get the uh, the very latest in from the National Hurricane Center. I specifically want to talk initially about our impacts here in central Alabama. We'll start to see the winds pick up a little bit today with some showers arriving late in the day, but really Thursday is going to be the day where we see most of the impacts here locally from Francine and then Friday as well, but to a little bit of a lesser extent. All in all, two to four inches of rainfall expected, and we really could use some rain. There could be some localized flooding, though, if a rain band sets up and kind of moves over some of the same areas. So we'll have to watch out for that tomorrow. And then wind gusts on the order of 50, 40 to 50 miles an hour. And then on Thursday, we do have the threat for some isolated tornadoes, some isolated severe storms possible. This is the latest advisory that just came in. The emotion is now at 12 miles an hour, so it's starting to pick up some forward momentum, and we're also starting to see it being impacted by a little bit of wind shear, which hurricanes and tropical systems do not like. And you can see that because we're starting to see the actual cloud shield get displaced off to the north and east. So that means upper level winds are starting to impact this tropical system. That being said, National Hurricane Center official forecast still takes it to a category two, moves it inland to later on this afternoon, this evening for uh, along the Louisiana coast. And then it continues to weaken as it moves through Mississippi tomorrow. There's a look at the hurricane warning. We've got tropical storm warnings in effect for Mobile Bay, for Mobile and Baldwin counties. Here's a look at our future cast. So showers start to move into our southern counties between about noon and three o'clock today. So for Greensboro and then over toward uh, Jemison, Thorsby. So showers start to move in late this afternoon into tonight. But the worst of the rain and the wind really start to move in on Thursday. This is Thursday morning and you can see we are covered up with a good soaking rain and then Thursday afternoon is when we'll have to watch for those bands to strengthen as it starts to get a little more unstable with the threat for some isolated tornadoes then. Briley, we could also see some pretty strong wind gusts too from Francine on Thursday. Yes, I think that will start to happen later this evening, really into tonight as the storm moves closer and the center of the storm moves inland late tonight along Louisiana's coastline. We'll start to feel those wind gusts really much later tonight, probably when you're asleep and then into tomorrow morning. This is seven o'clock tomorrow. Winds gusting close to 45, especially to the west. It is going to be breezy and gusty all day tomorrow, so just keep that in mind. Gusts up to 45 possible through Thursday evening. It really isn't until late Thursday night when they begin to subside and still we're gusting up to 25 through Thursday night. One thing that Stephanie mentioned was the rain, and this is something that we have been looking forward to uh, since we started to track Francine. Two to four inches possible in West Alabama. Amounts will be lower to the east, uh, but still a couple inches of rain will be great to help uh, mitigate the drought. So showers spreading in tonight, moving northward into Thursday. We'll watch tomorrow afternoon for some of those outer bands. Those could produce uh, some severe storms. You're watching WVTA.